Who the fuck comes up with this shit? All right, so aliens at the mall, huh? Rumors of aliens invading Miami are going viral on social media. This is for real, folks. The conspiracy theory stems from a large police presence at Bayside Marketplace on New Year's Day. Take a good look at your screen. Are those aliens walking in front of Bayside Marketplace in downtown Miami? I see nothing that indicates an outer space mystical fictional creature. I see three people walking. Online conspiracy theorists are saying that shadowy figure, not far from Park Miami police cars, appears to be an alien. Did it ever occur to anybody maybe the shadowy figure is probably a shadow of a figure? Maybe a human figure? Which is why it looks taller? Does anybody have a brain anymore? Uh, honestly, I think it looks pretty real to me. Guess not. The viral video was allegedly taken during that massive police presence at Bayside on New Year's Day. Crowds of young people armed with sticks began fighting. Armed with sticks, yet it shows kids not armed with sticks. They're not even using their fucking hands. They're stomping someone. You gonna hold a stick with your feet and do work? Damn, man, it's literally right in front of your face. What they're saying is not in front of you. Oh, wait, let me get, are they invisible alien sticks? Huh? Did the shadows drop the shadow sticks on the ground? Police say juveniles were also setting off fireworks that some believed was gunfire. Oh my gosh. Kids setting off fireworks in Miami on New Year's? Get out of town. I think everybody in America was setting off fireworks at that time. You're not really narrowing shit down. You're just saying something very broad. Then look, do you see any fucking fireworks going off? I see zero fireworks. Once again, something's being told to you through your ears, but your eyes do not see it. Well, the kids had sticks. Kids have no sticks. Well, there's a shadow alien. I don't see an alien anywhere. Well, it was fireworks. Zero fireworks. Is there anything in this fucking story that's true? And if that's the case, if you look at it like that, what is the point of the fucking story? At all! ...off fireworks that some believed was gunfire, resulting in chaos. This is where I start to think, what the fuck is this all for? Listen to what these people are saying. This is the fucking news, man. This is what's supposed to warn us about serious shit. You mean there's 500 motherfucking cops outside for some teenagers fighting? With sticks? So, did they have sticks or did they have fucking firearms? Those are two different things, like way different things. There's a cr big crowd of people running out of Bayside and kind of um, grouping up outside. And then we hear more commotion and now they're all just running through the streets, running between cars, almost getting hit by cars. It was like absolute chaos. Well, to me, it sounds like there was a bunch of teenagers running away from something that they didn't like. To the point where they ran outside of the mall, grouped up with people, and then continued to run and almost get hit by cars. They were running from something. What were they running from? That's the only thing that makes sense. And like, come on, really? Sticks? Or firearms? No, no, we gotta know. Because if it was sticks... Sticks matches the story better this thus far. Because if a bunch of teenagers are running away from something that they don't want to be around, and when they finally get outside, they pick up the nearest objects they see, which would be like sticks or something. That means they were fucking terrified of something. And I don't think it was a big mystical fucking space alien, I don't. Another thing, I mean, people saying they heard gunshots. This happened on fucking New Year's, Miami. <laughs> Fireworks? Yeah, probably so. Because sticks and firearms are two different things. Not only that, where's all the fucking fire trucks? If, if it could have been <laughs> fireworks in the mall, where's the fire trucks? There's zero fire trucks. Show me a fire truck. I don't see none. Now, rumors are circulating on social media saying police weren't there to handle a group of rowdy teens, but rather eight to ten feet tall shadow aliens. The reason being fucking shadow aliens is so fucking stupid. This is where this is the part in the story where it's like, what? 
Oh, no, 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 no. What was they actually running from? Shadow aliens. You were showing me a bunch of cops standing in front of their headlights that is casting shadows. Is that the shadow aliens? The fuck? The phrases Miami Mall and aliens in Miami have been among the top 10 searches on Twitter's trending tab. Remember those trending tabs. Aliens in Miami and Miami Mall. And Google News even has several reports questioning the event. Miami police saying in part, there were no aliens, UFOs or ETs. No airports were closed. No power outages. Huh. It's little slip ups like that that just make you a totally different kind of human when you can pick up on people's language. So you mean to tell me a cop whose job is to identify shit and suspects to a T very thoroughly said there's no aliens or ETs. Since when are those a different thing? His exact quote. There were no aliens, UFOs, or ETs. He's separating the term extraterrestrial from the term alien. There has to be a reason for that. He subconsciously accidentally said that. It's like saying, I don't, well, uh, he's going down I-40. I'm not sure if he's a white guy or a Caucasian. Mm -mm. Nope. That's an important slip up. I don't give a shit. And you know, while we're on this alien topic, let's talk about aliens real quick. Answer me this. Why have we only seen their vehicles? Why does anybody only have videos of the vehicles and not the aliens? Just recently have they been like, oh, uh, look, an alien, a shadow alien. Not a real shadow casted from the light behind me. It's a shadow alien. Just recently have we seen videos of these quote unquote biological aliens. But all the footage fucking sucks. All the footage of the vehicles suck. But we have seen a shit ton of the vehicles. And when I say vehicles, I mean UFOs, obviously. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure I don't need to explain that. If I do, fuck, just click off the video now. Fuck, Jesus Christ. Answer me this. Why are all these UFO videos always in California, Florida, or Texas? Why? They're nowhere else. It's always by the water. Most of these videos, it's like a UFO over the water. There goes that UFO. And it's always out of Florida, Texas, or California. Okay, well, if you're an alien, what do, what do aliens do? They abduct, right? Okay. Where do the most child abductions go down? Well, I'll be damned. The same exact states that got all these UFOs and aliens and UFO videos, well, they're the same place that all the child trafficking goes down. What do you know? Now, what did Michael Herrera say on the Sean Ryan show? I'll play the clip. How close did you get? To the craft? To the craft. Roughly 200 meters, 150, 200. How, did you get to the bottom of the hill? Yes. So you could see, so you saw the top of it, and then you could see underneath of it. And underneath Maybe. of it had this platform that was on the ground that was separate from this craft hovering. And it was, it was very weird to see, and I was like, okay, I don't know if that's kind of like a cement pad or something. I don't know if it was like a helo pad or anything like that at first. But then started seeing how the material would kind of look very similar to what the craft was. It's like, well, that's separate. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory what that is. It's a futuristic truck bed it's, that can detach. Probably goes in the middle to distribute the weight good. You drop the quote-unquote truck bed which it's not a truck bed because it's a fucking circle UFO or something. And you load the shit on it and it races back up with magnets. No one needs to pick up anything. You just got to set whatever on the pad. If something happens and you got to get away, you can leave the pad there. If worse comes to worse, well, you're already flying over the ocean. We all know where they're at. You just drop it. No one's ever going to find it. They can barely find a fucking submarine. Did people pay to go on? He's talking about a fucking flying object. You realize that, right? 
And he's talking about people that look like us driving them. So you have something that's on the ground, stationary, and then you have something that's up top and it's just rotating in a clockwise position. So right when we got close to it, um, at least you know, 150, 200 meters out, then all of a sudden we were engaged, at least not in a hostile manner, at least, you know, not gunfire or firefight or anything like that. But the way that these guys moved was so fluid, it was so still, it was very, very, very smooth. And it kind of indicated to me um, after thinking about it for several years is that these guys have done it for a, a while because of how smooth this operation was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now look what he says the UFOs that were being driven by humans was used for. But he works in some of these projects at a very, um, some very controversial facilities. He's aware of what was going on. After I gave my presentation of this, he confirmed, he says, no, he's like, I don't want to leave Michael hanging out there, but I was not expecting to come and talk to you about this. And he went explaining what the operations do, why they do it, and what they were using them for. And he says, it's not drugs that they're putting in these shipping containers. He says it's humans. Human traffic. Yes. Well, that would explain why the most people get abducted in California, Texas, and Florida. And the most UFO mystical space aliens you're seeing in California, Texas, and Florida. But it's always just the vehicles, isn't it? No wonder child trafficking and aliens have the same terminology. Well, the whole alien conspiracy, it sounds like, is covering up fucking child trafficking. Which is why they got to keep it going and going and going. Because if you find out that aliens don't drive UFOs and it ain't nothing but some fucking weirdos, well, then we got a big fucking problem. Because we've been told aliens are probably out there by some serious organizations that we would not trust anymore. Nah, but what are you gonna say? Oh, look at him, he's crazy. If I'm crazy, well then what the fuck are you? Way past an illiterate fuck, that's for sure. Why? Because. Go back to what, go back to what the fucking Miami sheriff or whatever said. Look at his comment one more time now that you've seen all this shit. Miami police saying in part, there were no aliens, UFOs, or ETs. No airports were closed. No power outages. All right, so before we get into the alien and ET definitions, let's just do this first. Why are they saying no power outages? Because they're pretty much, they're solidifying there was no misuse of electricity. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll put it this way. Back in the day, when you was growing weed in your house, how did the cops know? The electrical company. Your fucking bill was way higher than it was supposed to be because your ass was, you know, growing pot. They're saying that they're solidifying kind of that there was nothing going on here. No, nobody's stuck underground using electricity here. No kids inside this mall in Miami. And then what else you say? Nowhere, no airports were shut down. So there was apparently there's so. And then they say what? They say no airports were shut down. Oh, you know, I hope there's no fucking airports shut down for some teenagers fighting with sticks. Well, that'd be fucking stupid. No. What they're solidifying is there was no air traffic that was a threat, for sure. Okay, now, fuck all that. Let's get to the definition of an alien and an extraterrestrial, since the, the police chief wants to separate those two words, even though they're the, the same fucking thing. I mean, at, at least that's what we thought. An extraterrestrial and an alien is supposed to be the same thing, right? Uh, well, not by the dictionary, it ain't. All right, the definition of an alien. Alien, foreign, not natural, strange, opposed or repugnant, a foreigner, or the hypothetical being from outer space. All right, well, then what's an extraterrestrial? If they, a being from outer space? Okay, well, let's look up extraterrestrial. Since he's talking about them like they're completely different things. Extraterrestrial. Being of or from outside Earth's limits, an extraterrestrial being, as in science fiction. That's the definition. But here's the thing. What's the definition of terrestrial, fucking? Let's see. If that's an extraterrestrial, well then, well then what's a terrestrial? What's a terrestrial? Because that's going to that's gonna tell you... What you need to know right there. We know what extra means. Terrestrial. Of Earth. 
consisting of land, not water. <laughs> Living on land. So an alien is a foreigner or a being from outer space. An extraterrestrial is a being from out of space. A terrestrial is someone who lives on Earth and not in the water. That's what it says at the definition. Not in the water. All the UFOs are seen over water. If you're a terrestrial and you have other terrestrials, multiple ones, that means you're a terrestrial that has extraterrestrials. If you're a sex trafficker who has undocumented kids, those kids are terrestrials. That makes you a terrestrial that has extraterrestrials. And those extraterrestrials, by definition, are aliens. They're undocumented. They're not even illegal aliens. They're just flat out fucking aliens. They never was legal anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. 